Okay, Ashley, I see your question here, and you were having trouble hyperlinking uh, the buttons you had at the top uh, to the different parts of the pages. And so what I'm assuming you want here is like where it says services, you want to be able to click on that and then be able to scroll down to the point where the services basically show up like this on the page. So let me show you how to do that. It's really quite simple. There's two different ways to do it um, straight out of the box. And um, the second, the, or the way I'm gonna show you first is the way that I prefer to do it myself and where you click on the link. And when you click on the link, what happens is it just smooth scrolls down to the section that you want, or you could do it the other way where you click on the link and it immediately just jumps right to that spot without any kind of scroll at all. So let me show you the two different ways to set up. For the way to jump there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna find the section we want to jump down to and we're gonna just say it's this section here and you can do this with a row or an element even, but we're just gonna do it with a section and so we're just gonna come down, click on the hashtag to get our CSS info, and we are going to copy out our CSS ID selector. We are then gonna scroll back up to the top, and I already have these two sets, so let's just grab this one here that I don't have set. So we will highlight the text that we wanna make a hyperlink. We'll click on the little chain icon. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to paste in, we're gonna take out the hashtag that's there, we're going to just paste in that CSS ID selector for that section. And then you can change the background color if you want, but we'll just close that and we will click on save and then we will preview it. And when we click on the link, then it will just bring us immediately here straight away to it. Now let's look at the second way of doing this. And in order to do it the second way, we have to put in a title a data title is what they're known as. Um, so we'll just come in here again, we'll click on our CSS info. And I already put in the data title of input form. So it had said section here before this. Now I changed it to input form and we're gonna copy that out. And the reason why you wanna change this is because there's a whole bunch of sections in here all named section. And so it has to be a unique name so we're able to find it. So in your case here, you would call it like testimonials and services and whatever else according to what you had on your buttons, the same portion you want to scroll to. So you type that in, you click on update, it'll save it for you. Then let's go back up to the top and I did it for this one, but let's come here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna first off break this link. We're gonna start over, we're gonna uh, uh, highlight the whole area. We're going to click on the, the link chain and this time we're going to leave the hashtag in place and we're going to type in scroll S-C-R-O-L-L -L, -L, put in a dash and then we're going to paste in that data title that we created for the section and again you can change your link color if you would like and we will X this out. We will click on save and we will go back into the one we had before and again it used to be where it would just jump to now let's refresh the page and now it will give us a smooth scroll and it is now loaded and it gives us the smooth scroll it's a little bit jerky and a little bit slow because i'm recording right now but um, the rest of the time it'll go a little bit faster than it is going right there so that's it two different ways that that you can set up the scroll. And if you've got any questions, just feel free to reach out to me.